Hey guys, this is just a quick video about an ultimate team, that, I mean a career mode team that I've created lately. It's my Manchester United career mode and this is the team that I've created after two and a half, well, one and a half seasons and I just wanted to show you. And this is what I hope to do with like Real Madrid and that, in my Real Madrid one. But this is the one that I play without recording and his squad. Okay, so we have Joe Hart from 84 to 88, which is a nice, decent result. If in case you want to, actually, can't really show you stats. He's 26 now, 6 foot 5. Yeah, you know all this. Anyway, he's diving 90. He, he's an amazing key performer now. Anyway, for right back, we have McKay Richards. That's another Man City player. He's gone from 80 to 84. And right centre back we have Phil Jones. He's gone from 78 I think to 84. Left centre back we have Sergio Ramos. Gone, I don't know what he's gone from. I think he was like 86 before. Why well, he, he's he's good for me. I only just signed him recently. And Marcelo. I was gonna keep Everett. I've got Gibbs as my secondary one. I'll show you that in a sec. Now. Probably my best signing so far. A tour Vidal. 85 when I got him because I got him right at the start. To 89 now. He is one of the most all round players you can get. I play 4 1 2 1 2 and I have him either centre defensive mid or centre attacking mid. He's just class. He's brilliant for me. I would strongly suggest signing him. Even for your ultimate team, he's just brilliant. Valencia, 80, 83 to 88. It's probably around about right because he's, he's brilliant on the ball. He's not really good at taking shots. As you can see there, 72. Long shots. His finishing's poor as well. But he's pretty good overall. Gareth Bale, signed him just in January. I mean February now. Uh, I think I played with him and he scored for me once so far. He's got brilliant stats. I think he went from like 86 to 88. He's a nice all round player again. Look, there's, hard, there's not even a single red there. It just proves how well balanced he is. Oh, his balance is bad. It's because he dives a lot. Alright, there's Neymar now. I signed him uh, after the first year when I got loads of money. And well, he was just he he he's near enough my top goal scorer. No Van Persie is, but he's second top goal scorer for me. I think he scored like nine and he's he's just brilliant. Five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He'll go up even more because he's only twenty two. Now, Sergio Aguero, this was one that I didn't actually want to buy. I only brought him because Rooney wanted to leave to Real Madrid, so I had to come up with a replacement in five days, and he was the best one. But he's a suitable replacement. He's he's quite young, and like I said, I, I ain't planning on changing career modes. I ain't planning on leaving the club because this is my own one, and well, he's. He's pretty good for me. Now Van Persie. Van Persie is someone I'm going to have to sell soon because he, he'll he decline in about a year's time. He'll start declining and I don't like declining. When he hits 31 he'll start going downhill. That's when I start selling my players and bringing in replacements. Okay, that's, that's my starting 11. That's the main starting 11 I use. That is my main starting eleven. Just thought I'd show you that, and I'll show you my subs now. I've got Kagawa, 24, 88 overall. He scores pretty. He scores a lot of goals for me. He can score in the box, out of the box. He can score long shots. He scores them pretty easy, actually. Uh -huh. oh. uh, uh, there's Ashley Young next. Uh, he he. Most people don't like him because he's a dive. Ah, uh, recently. 
but I like him. I think he's a great player. I think he he's a I think he's good overall, and I wouldn't complain with him. Brilliant, he's brilliant. He scores lots of long shots. Even though he's rated lower in this, he is actually better. You can score with him from range, and. 82 to 87, that's not bad at all. He'll start declining soon though as well. Hernandez, 85 rated. Hernandez isn't actually that good for me. He scores a few goals, but there's a lot of goal shots he misses. It's like him in real life actually now. Uh, Chris Smalling, he, I'll keep him on there, he's pretty good, he's pretty balanced, even though he's injury prone he's never actually got injured for me so that's pretty good. Uh, Raphael, he, score for, he scores for me, he's brilliant, nice round player, definitely going to keep him until he's 30. No one's buying him off me. Okay, and next there's... I signed this player... I signed this player recently. I don't actually know if he's in the game or not. But I saw... I saw his age. I saw his height. And I saw these stats. And thought... Oh my god, I have to sign him. 20 years of age. 6 foot... F 6 foot 2 and he has these stats he's even fast these are quite average but these will go up a lot more he'll go up to about 90 I think and this is Lindegaard oh no Lindegaard I just kept him I just swapped De Gea for Joe Hart because I don't actually like De Gea much and my Hatton Ben Arthur I brought him just because Ashley Young gets tired easy, so I brought him. Even though he gets tired easy, it's Kieran Gibbs. He swaps round with Marcelo. Danny Welbeck, he's good for me. He's good at long shots, I think. He's good. He's good. His long shots are actually pretty good, even on Ultimate Team. But this is an Ultimate Team. This is career mode. Uh, there's Anderson. I don't actually play him much, but he doesn't complain. Let me check his for morale. Yeah, not good. I mean, you got people that are completely green. Uh, Johnny Evans. Why is he there? Okay, Johnny Evans. He, I, I just kept him. I just kept him and he kept going up because I kept playing him. Anderson, yep. Fabio. I don't even play him, I don't know why I have him. Uh, I play him on FA Cup and League Cup games and some Champions League games. And he's actually pretty good on his left foot. He doesn't really miss much. I quite like Henriquez. Makeda, don't play him. Giggs, I do still play because he's still with me, but. I try not to play him. He's too old now. He'll probably retire at the end of the season. Raheem Sterling from Liverpool. You're probably thinking, why the hell? He's 19 and he's good overall. And I was playing Liverpool next and I wanted to set the mick. So I scored with him. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, Brady already there. I don't really use him don't really use him I use him sometimes use him use him sometimes I don't even know why I brought him I don't use him he's probably annoyed still remember he's green the name off, don't use at all Kofi don't use at all Wooten and Tuna Cliff Dominguez is my own player but that's my team. He's my 17 year old. That's going to be a star. That's my team. Uh, I manage England and 
If you check my youth squad, you'll see class. I got I got my centre defensive mid playback. Um, one of them is right footed and he's fourteen. Uh, I have I have a brilliant left mid, left wing or left back. I have a future star up front, a future goalkeeper, future centre attacking mid, centre back, I already have my brilliant centre back, 82 to 94, uh, oh. Oh. right here is my best uh, signing of the window. Oh there he is. Ryan Flanagan. 72 overall but he will go to 80, 89 to 94. Even though he's crap now he'll be brilliant. He's, I think he's quite small yeah he is but he's, he's a brilliant centre back. Okay that was just my quick video. Well it's not even been quick has it. It's been like 10 minutes. Uh, anyway this has been golden game in here please like subscribe and tell us what you think of this team thanks for watching